Okay, so the, the basic structure of the syllabus, this is just a snapshot of the entire syllabus so that when you're out in your studio, uh, you've really got it there to, um, to look at. It's in your pack, um, just in case uh, I see people taking up phones to take photos. It's in your pack, it's all good. Um, uh, it's a similar structure to uh, other AMEB syllabuses and we did that really for ease. Um, uh, but there are distinct differences which I'm going to go through now. Um, uh, the songs, vocalese and technical and in the second session today I'm going to go through uh, the vocalese and the technical. Uh, the vocaleses for this syllabus were written um, uh, specifically for this syllabus, uh, myself and, a, and another writer from Sydney, Rachel Kelly, a fantastic uh, composer from Sydney, uh, wrote the, um, the vocalises uh, specifically uh, as musical theatre vocalises um, and I'll talk about that a lot more in the second session. Uh, oral, that's the same as every other AMEB syllabus, that hasn't changed. We include sight reading here and I'm going to talk about that um, a little bit later on, I'm terribly passionate about that and there was absolutely no question amongst the advisory committee as to whether or not we would include sight singing as a part of the syllabus. That was, uh, uh, it was um, a given that, that that would be there. You ask any MD, any MD across the country and they will always tell you that a person who is fast in the room, who can read, uh, who can pick things up quickly is always going to get cast over somebody who can't. And I can't tell you how many casting tables I've been on where the MD has said, uh, with two women who are both fantastic, uh, but she can read and she's really fast. No, let's go with her. That's always the way that it is. Um, do we know that sight reading is not something that the students enjoy? Absolutely. <laughs> do I care about that? Not an ounce. Because it's important. It's important that we, as educators, send out that message of how important that is to be informed in the room, to be prepared in the room, to be able to go with anything that gets thrown at you in the room. That's terribly important. But I'm going to talk a lot more about sight reading later on. It's something that I love and I'm passionate about, but I'll talk about it later on. And general knowledge, I'll talk about that as well uh, late, uh, a little bit later in the day. It's no different, except we have the added complication of it being musical theatre, but I'll address that um, throughout the day. Um, you will notice in the, in, in the syllabus that uh, as we go through and, and you look at the technical work and then look at the repertoire, you will notice that despite the um, separation here of level one, two and three, there are two distinct places in the syllabus that I really want to highlight for you where there, are sig it, there is a significant step up, uh, a real, you, you feel a genuine step up in difficulty from uh, one grade to the next. The first is between grades two and three and it is significant. It's partly due to the, the nature of the repertoire. Um, there is not a whole lot of easy musical theatre repertoire out there. And I um, raped and pillaged everything that I could to get you uh, uh, that, that easier repertoire, but there's not a lot of it. Um, so there is a distinct step at grades two and three. So for example, if you've got a leisure student who's just done grade two and got a B, um, they're going to struggle. If you throw them in at grade three in musical theatre, they will really struggle and you'll be doing them a disservice. So I encourage you, before you make those choices, to really look at the program and I'll go through that. Uh, you'll see when we go through the technical and the repertoire later in the day, uh, the, the significant step between grades two and three. The other, the, this all runs fairly smoothly, the other significant step is between grades six and seven. Uh, grade seven is where we really launch into a much more comprehensive, holistic study of musical theatre. Why? Because the advisory committee felt that lots of students will go through to grade six, but the ones that go on from grade seven are usually the ones that are terribly serious about doing uh, the program. Uh, and when I say for their careers, and I mention that today, I don't want you to think that I'm talking about 
uh, people who are performing professionally and all those sorts of things. Certainly, we would love that. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about people who are singing for life in whatever capacity they choose to do that, at the community level or whatever, is irrelevant. We really want people who are singing for life and singing well for life. But that significant step up at grade seven is absolutely there. And then, of course, certificate, associate and licentiate with full, full programs um, that you uh, perform. Why did we go to licentiate? That was one of the first things that was discussed uh, at the advisory committee. And um, uh, when I was hired, I was, I was asked to write the program to certificate level. Um, they asked me whether I felt it should go to licentiate and I felt that it should. Um, but when we got to the advisory committee, uh, that was put to them and they felt very strongly that it should go all the way to licentiate. Really, um, uh, uh, as a sign to everyone that we are taking this terribly seriously and we believe in a full study in musical theatre and taking it that whole distance. 